at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Bar Ultrasong Skate Custom Jets six month review. I make videos and reviews to help people and to inform people. If you don't like my opinion, that is fine. It's my opinion. It's one noodle in the spaghetti pot. Take away with it what you will. I remember 10 year old me and my dad going to shop for gear, having no previous first hand experience, and I would have killed to have somebody that was like, listen, this shit sucks. This is why I do reviews to help people. You're tight on cash. If you're any of the bozos on Instagram doing gear reviews, going to do tours of the factory and hiding your identity, let's begin. Enough of the hot takes. These are custom skates. They're not a stock skate, they're not a retail skate. So if you're going to your local shop, you're gonna go buy retail skates just out of the box off the shelf. You're not getting the same thing. It is noticeably different. These are customs. If you're ordering custom, let me tell you what you're gonna get. Custom wait time first off. I ordered right after uh, stores opened up again from the first COVID shutdown. So when I ordered my skates, I think it was be beginning of May. I, I probably said it in the original ultrasonic skate review. I can't remember. What I do know is I think it was like 12 weeks, 14 weeks to get my actual skates in. They're quoting around four to six. I got them in, I think 12 to 14. I could be wrong. I take so many pucks off the head. I'm starting to forget my own name some days. Custom wait time, it does take a while. So don't be expecting to get them anytime soon. As far as the actual process goes for custom ordering skates, very, very easy. You just hop on a scanner on the Bauer scanning machine that they have set up. Guy goes around you with an iPad, puts in all your information, all your specs. Hey, do you have any issues with your feet? Do you have this crazy bunion? Do I have toe fungus? Whatever you got, you put in the specs, ask for the colors, put your name on the skate, basically good to go. As far as custom stuff goes, my skates are very basic. I have a 10.75 size skate on my right side, and I believe 10.5, so 10 and a half on my left side. As far as custom stuff goes, I got my name put on the tongue of the skate. Everything else is basically stock. I've got the stock ultrasonic foot liner. I got the stock ultrasonic tongue. The only custom thing you'll see on this skate, and it's very obvious, is the cowling on the skate. Normally they come with a holder, the cowlingless two-piece holder. This is a cowling. I like cowlings for my own personal reasons. I like being lower to the ice. The cowling is a lot lower to the ice. You get the exact same attack angle with the cowling skate when you shave the cowling out. I've shaved the inside of my cowling, so it has the same attack angle as a two-piece or cowlingless skate, but I like that lower feel. I like that more neutral pitch. And it's all personal preference. I like the feel, I like the neutral pitch compared to the two-piece skates or true skates that are a little more forward pitched and last but not least, style. So I all became goalies, white cowling, way better style. Although one thing worth noting about the cowling is that Bauer doesn't advertise that you can put a cowling on. I had a lot of people ask, how did you put a cowling on? I literally just ordered the skates. The guys at Royal Sports in Winnipeg where I ordered them from, they took the holders off, they put the cowlings on, and if you think I'm the only one who's done it, Elvis Merzlikens does it too. He has the uh, cowling on, I think he's using the Vapor 2X Pro Skate. He might be using the Ultrasonic. I'm not sure at the time of filming this because I don't do any research before filming these. I film this all in one go. So out of the box, my experience, these skates are very, very stiff. Custom skates, my VA skates previously were very stiff. Bauer, I'm assuming CCM would all be the same. They're all very, very stiff. You throw them in the skate oven, you get them in there for five to 10 minutes, they get loosened up, you put them on, the guys in the shop will tie them up, they'll kind of wrap some tape around your feet to kind of get everything to set. They're gonna cool down and they're gonna form around your foot. So it's a truly custom skate. It's a custom skate being custom molded on top of that to your foot. Really easy to do, feels very, very comfortable. And I would say out of the box, probably because I had V8 skates for four years and I was used to skating on basically diapers with knives. The ultrasonic skates were very uncomfortable at first. A lot of pain kind of on the balls of my feet, on the side of my feet, on the back of my feet, front, just all around a lot of pain, probably because my feet aren't used to skating in a skate that has so much support and balance as opposed to my V8 skates, I can probably fold those things in half. They're, they're so shot, it's not even funny. Over time, since then, in the six months since I got them, the pain has stopped a lot. I will say if I'm standing in one spot for 60 minutes, my feet are gonna be killing me in the skates. But if I'm moving around, I'm doing movement, I'm making saves, I'm practicing, whatever the case may be, I'm probably in pretty good hands and I'm not feeling any discomfort. So Bauer ships you your skates with a custom insole, custom footbed. I took that out, I put super feet in my skate. I did that probably about three months into having the actual skates. And basically just it just pitches the skates just a touch forward, just a little bit more to have a little bit more lean in my stance and in my butterfly. That obviously changed a little bit of the custom fit, but outside of that, no issues at all, that they fit great, they feel great, they perform great, skating's a dream, and they're, they're crazy lightweight. That's another thing, is that coming from V8 skates, true skates, whatever you wanna call them nowadays, I would say that they're probably heavier for what I would consider a modern skate, a today's skate. These ultrasonic skates are just, they're, they're like wearing feathers in your feet. They're super, super lightweight skates and they're really, really great feeling. Everybody's concerned about durability with Bauer and I'll be honest, when, but when I gave over the cash to order the skates and I gave the cash to the, to the manager, I thought to myself, Oh, two grand if these things aren't very durable. And I might be in, you know, I might have to order some new skates, but so far, no issues at all. My entire life, I've only ever used Bauer skates. And the only exception is the VA skates that I used for four years. And every Bauer set of skates I ever had, eyelets, the eyelets. So basically like these things where like the laces go through, they've all ripped out, like their eyelets have come out and they've come out of the actual skate. I thought that it might happen in the first six months. 
Obviously, all the skates are good. I have literally no wear issues, no durability issues outside of maybe the tongue frame, but that's not really an issue. I am going to predict in the next six to 12 months, so at the 12 to 18 month point of using these skates, I think one of the audits will rip. That's just a prediction. I got a feeling, something funky about that, but skates are awesome. And protection wise, these things are rock hard. Like I've taken pucks straight off the boot a couple times. Shots, wrist shots, snap shots, you know, a couple little chippers backhand by St. V himself, and I've had no issues at all. Like they are, they're great. When I ordered the skates when I first got them, I was really skeptical, and you know, the excitement of ordering them had kind of gone away, and, and the reality had sunk in of, I just spent all this money, and if these skates, they suck and I don't like them, I can't just, you know, call Bauer up and say, hey, take them back on my cash back. They'll tell me to because Bauer doesn't. When I started to get to using the skates, I started using them on the ice, started to get comfortable with them, and started trusting the skate. It honestly it changed my game in regards to how I support myself on the ice, how I feel on the ice. These skates, they look good. Another hot take, these are probably, I think, the best looking skates in the market. Whether you're using true, old VHs, CCM, like these are the sexiest skates on the market. I will, I will show Bauer here that I would like to say, I wish you had the option to do custom colors because on the custom ultrasonic player skate, you can do this stripe in red, green, blue, pink, rainbow, whatever color you want. You can get that done. Here they only give you gold. I wanted it to be white. I would love a basically all white skate. They'll throw back to like the Bauer 1100, like the OG limited edition, whiteout edition, but that's probably never gonna happen because nobody listens to my opinion because I'm a pigeon. This right here, I'm holding $2,000 in my, well, technically a thousand. Now I'm holding $2,000 in my hands because a retail ultrasonic skate, I believe will run you about 800 bucks plus taxes, when or not, depending on where you live. Custom skate, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe 1400 bucks. I paid the bill a while ago. I don't really remember what it was, but 1400 bucks for the skates plus taxes. We're sitting around 1600, give or take. And then by the time you buy your cowling, which I had to go and buy a cowling, which is 200 bucks on the Bauer website, we're talking 18 and change, almost 1900 bucks. So basically that's $2,000 for a set of skates. Are they worth $2,000? No, no set of skates on the planet are worth $2,000. I, I would love to see the price on custom skates come down over the next little bit. In my opinion, take it for what it is. I think the skates are the most important piece of equipment you can own and that you have. You know, all the Karens and you know the pretend hockey players of the world are going to tell you, oh, your helmet's important because what if you get a concussion there? If you can't communicate your feet on the ice with skates, how are you, like you're not playing hockey. You can't play hockey if you can't skate. It's the only communication point, the only connection point you have. Don't get me wrong, am I pissed off that I spent $2,000 on skates? Yes, I would love to spend way less on skates. But considering it's the only thing that is in contact with the ice at all times and my way of moving around performing, that's one thing I'm not skimping. Heinz ketchup, two-ply toilet paper, and Bauer ultrasonic skates, or custom skates in general. When you feel a custom skate versus a retail skate, it's a night and day difference in the fit and the performance and the feel of a custom skate it doesn't compare to a retail. So the skates are definitely holding up so far and I'm very happy with how they're lasting, how they're performing. A custom skate isn't something I would skimp on. So would I recommend them? Yes, I think the, the ultrasonic skates are great. Have I tried a CCM skate? Have I tried a recent true skate? No, and am I gonna? Probably not. I'd be interested in trying the Hyperlite skates when they come out this summer, but I, I don't need them. I'll probably be wearing the ultrasonic skates for the next little bit at least the next year, year and a bit, try to get my $2,000 worth, but that's basically the review. So I am recommending the ultrasonic skates, I know. I'm actually recommending a Bauer product. Bauer did a great job. Ultrasonic skates are awesome, and uh, I'm, I'm really, really happy in them. They've, they've really changed the way that I'm skating, the way that I'm moving around, the way that I'm feeling on the net. The, I'm actually able to hinge my RVH and move better in my RVH since I got the skates, which is really, really great. I still struggle with, but I was struggling with a lot more when I was in the VH skates previously. So that will conclude the reviews. Thank you for watching. Promo code TRAPSUCKS for some awesome products, including Pro Laces, Toe Ties, Block Knuckle Guard, or Butt Ends Grips. I use Pro Laces, Toe Ties on my skates to connect to my pads. You should too. See you in the next video upload. If you want to shop where Travis shops, check us out at 750 Pemina Highway, where we will take care of you.